Hi, I am Bitcoin Gorilla, and I'll be taking you on this analysis on Ethereum USDT. Likely going to share with you what you should expect for the rest of 2021 to the beginning of 2022. If you've not subscribed, do subscribe because we make constant videos like this all the time. Now, this is going to be a pure price action analysis without no indicator. And I'm going to be drawing the chart from scratch. So if you want to fast forward, you can fast forward. Now, let me tell you something. If you've not subscribed, do subscribe, like I said, and help us, support us by liking this video so that it's going to reach as many people as possible. Now, I'm going to start my drawing by, first of all, locating the most important areas on my chart. And what are these most important areas? I'm talking about the support and resistance on the chart now I treat my support and resistance as an area and not a line but I'm going to be using this horizontal line to actually map them out before I now start looking and start treating them as an area so you can see the chart is quite very clear of what the previous areas look like before before now right before the breakout so what we see is that we see this clear point where um, Ethereum was rejected based on weekly chart. Now, this is going to be a multiple time frame analysis. I'm going to be going to daily as well as four hours. So it's going to be a back and forth thing. So sit by, even if you're a beginner, you're definitely going to understand because I'm doing this all from scratch. So the next thing I want to do is to use the Bitcoin Gorilla box strategy. How does this work? It means I want to contain um, um, the move that shows a particular area on the chart with um, sideways movement. As I, as, um, a good example is this point, right? So I can contain this point in a box, right? So exactly the same thing we're seeing here. We see that, um, why did I use a box in this area? Well, I can explain it briefly. Uh, urgently, I can tell you that we see that there's a sideways movement. For this to return this point and get again and return here and get to this point again, and we are seeing a clear rejection, it shows that somehow, somehow, we are still within a consolidation and the breakout has returned back to the consolidation. Now, is this return a retest? Or is it a fake or is this a fake out? This we're going to find out if by the time I finish drawing this chart. So let's go further and make more observation of what we're seeing. So I know that I can get this area to be my important support area in the box. That's the bottom of the box. So I'm going to use red for it. Now, this is the bottom of the box, right? So the next thing I want to locate now. I know I can place um, right there. Now, the next thing I want to do now is look for the top of the box, right? The top of the box looks like we have um, a situation right here, right? Now, this is the resistance area, right? Because you can see why. You can see the um, clear rejection right here, right here. And here is acting as support. Just like here, you have here acting as support 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 resistance support 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 so you see why i highlighted this area because it's very important now um the next thing i want to highlight in this whole case scenario is this point right i can see a very special box right here that i can get at the middle of the box now one thing about this my strategy is that the middle of the box is always important because there's this um um effect that takes place in the middle of the box now you can see this is my middle of my box and you can see this support the middle the down part of it acting as a strong support and here acting as a strong resistance and here some sort of um reaction and another one right there so this area is also very important for this analysis so with that being said and we we and with we finding this clear point now what does this say when we take it down toward to the um to the daily chart let's see how this looks this whole entire drawing looks on daily chart
because the goal is whatever we draw in a higher time frame should at least be corresponding with our lower time frame to make sure that we are on the right point that's one thing about the good thing about my box strategy is you don't need to draw it on multiple time frames you just need to make sure that they are aligning with what the higher time frame says so so far so good we see the daily chart is also respecting the same um support and resistance area right and we see a little bit of an adjustment that can be made right here but before we make the adjustment i want us to first of all get the um trend lines right so um the next thing i'm going to look for is look for the buyer's trend line and the seller's trend line right so i see a clear buyer's trend line right there and this bias trend line is one that has been res being respected since the beginning of the pump right so we see that since the breakout from um 300 and um around this point right so let's extend this up right here right since the breakout from around 480 let's say when we entered 500 dollars but the major breakout happened at this point right but let's just put this right here let's say this is where the breakout started the real move the reason is being is this is where the retest took place so let's say the real move happened here so we have price sitting right here sitting right here in fact it made almost a three touches here before it made another touch right here so this is the daily chart drawing now what about four hours what does this bias line look like on four hours now i tell you something we are likely going to get a much different bias line in this situation why because four hours tend to um so we have a little different line on four hours if we are going to create the four hours bias line so we see the four hours bias line is right there right but here's the situation the thing is this right we see that the bias line is not yet um touched right right there's no touch on the bias line red which is right here right there's supposed to be a touch here but price is being currently held by this support right the support of our resistance area remember i asked the question i said is this breakout a fake out or a real breakout now we will know if this is a will break out if this retest is either contained here or here right if the retest stops here then likely they will continue the journey but obviously that doesn't look like the case in our situation why do i say that doesn't look like the case in our situation let's zoom in this chart and have a closer look of what is likely playing out on four hours so if i take a closer look on four hours you can see um uh, very clearly that we are already having a new rejection right this is a new rejection printing clearly the bears market structure this is low this is lower high this is lower high and this is low this is lower low this is lower low and chances are high we are returning back to the same support right and this support is not actually a support it is a resistant area of the bigger box which means chances are high that if this current situation right here that is happening doesn't get stopped here around that um um 3900 if they fail to hold it if ethereum fail to hold 3900 no problem there's still a beautiful support right around 3700 3600 if they fail to hold it no problem there is still another support right what 3300 but anything that dives them down below this point ethereum is going to see this point i know this is hard to get i know this is hard to swallow but they are different support that is capable of holding the sellers from actually going down from pushing the price down the first one is 3000 what 900 to 3800 area good support right it worked perfectly fine in the past right can it work again can it work again now why won't it work is now the question now let me tell you why it won't work it won't work if i am to consider my box strategy now my box strategy is very important here why i say we could get a deeper pullback on ethereum my box strategy says that if the move must continue then these buyers must find a way to hold up this point that's what the box strategy does says they must find a way to hold up this point so that they can now continue the journey up right respecting respecting the current bias line that way the journey complete continues on but if the fail if the fail to hold up this point 
and break this current bias line it is bye bye for ethereum because the major net support is right here 3300 let's say a a a the retest was deeper right and it took them to this point they should be able to bounce here because this is a good support area but if they fail i see them coming to 2600 to 2500 which is a deeper support right which will cost you a lot right and let's just hope that it's not what i'm thinking what am i thinking okay now this analysis is for you to do is free right it's not a financial advice please do your research before you put it into work right it's good to do your research this is crypto and crypto is very volatile i'm just here to share my opinion what you do with it is up to you but here's the thing my box strategy warns me that when i see a fake out which is clear by this three bar rejection right here i should expect the price to come back and return the button of my box at worst case scenario stop at the middle of the box because the middle of the box is as strong as the bottom but the bottom is always way stronger on higher time frame than the middle of the box so most times i don't even like buying the middle of the box and this is why i've been screaming wait to buy crypto cheaper because if this box plays out i do see it coming here now in this analysis i have considered both buyers and sellers equal i gave them a fair share observation which means if the buyers succeed then price will go like this right this is their first option or what their second option right option two for buyers right if they fail it's going to be like this right option three but hey hey anything that crosses below this point anything that crosses the below this point is a danger because the most important support is right here why because it is respecting this line we've been respecting since the beginning of this journey right so i do see these bulls at worst respecting this boy oh god help that we never get to see this point anytime soon 1600 let's not say but 2600 2400 is very very possible do not ignore the power of the bs they can take down this by anything now mind you this is the box strategy bitcoin gorilla box strategy and i know that most of you have not seen it before so you might criticize my strategy but no problem but let's see how this all plays out i'm only sharing my opinion like i said what you do with it is up to you thank you for watching if you find this video helpful do support do support us with your likes so that other people get to also see this video because you supporting us with your like is how all um, this video we get seen by more people right that's how this video we get seen by more people thank you for watching